I'm Matthias Lifkens. I'm leading the digital practice of Burson Mastella in, uh, in Europe, the Middle East and Africa. I was formerly head of digital at the World Economic Forum, better known for the annual meeting in Davos, Switzerland. Well, I started out as senior media manager and doing media relations and then in 2006 I discovered social networks, actually YouTube, and I decided to put the videos from the annual meeting in Davos, one hour long videos, on YouTube. At the time people were saying, well, Matthias, you can put them up on YouTube anyway. It's not our target audience and, and nobody will watch them. Well, seven years down the line, YouTube is the second biggest search engine on the internet after Google. and. Uh, there are people who are watching these these videos. They've never meant to be viral videos, but they're really a resource for people who want to to relive the the discussions in Davos. So, I then proceeded to put the the World Economic Forum on Flickr, where you know the World Economic Forum now gets five thousand views on the photos every single day. I've put started to create a group on Facebook and a page on Facebook with ninety five thousand fans today, and Twitter, of course, with one point six million followers and finally Google Plus where the World Economic Forum now has 750,000 friends. So really kind of opening up a very private and exclusive event on social networks. So the next big trend for social media uh, and digital, I mean your guess is as good as mine. I would say curation is something that is really really big yes we're all setting up profiles on facebook on twitter uh, accounts on channels on youtube but what is really important is curation how can we kind of capture all the conversations that are happening on these social networks so one thing like on twitter uh, for example curation is creating lists very few people have actually created lists lists of influencers lists of journalists and you know what the beauty is you, you want to share these lists with the general public, so it's not just keeping these lists private but really sharing them uh, with everyone as a resource. And the other way to curate is Storyfy. Storyfy.com is a great website where you can pull in all these, these posts, the photos from Flickr, the, the videos from YouTube and create stories, summaries about topics at events, etc. So curation is one big, um, big thing. I think the a common mistake that many people make, uh, many companies make on social media is to, to look at their subscribers, their fans on, on Facebook as potential clients. I always say look at them as your friends. If you, and if you have something that you want to post as an organization to your community, would you post this same post to your friends? If the answer is no, then don't post it to your fans on Facebook. So it's really, it cha completely changes the relationship with, uh, with our fan fans on, uh, on these social networks, with our followers on Twitter. We really have to provide value to them like, you know, and treat them like friends. And once you have that relationship, it's no longer just, you know, you know what is the ROI of, uh, of the, the follower, of the fan, uh, of the, the subscriber, but really kind of how can we create community and how can we lead this community?